Welcome back to the art room. Today, we're gonna to meet some friends to help us talk about how to take care of them and how we should use them in art. So let's meet Patricia. Well, hello, my name is Patricia, but you can call me Patty, Patty the Pencil. And I'm a pencil, I like to draw. One thing I'd like you to know about me is that I like to draw lightly first, and then I draw a little harder when I feel like I've got it right. Um, a few other things about me is that I like to show you where you can put me when I'm dull and where you can get a sharp one of my friends. So let's go over there now. This is the pencil station. If I am dull or if my tip breaks, you can put me in the dull basket and then you can take a friend from the shop container. Um, no one should use the shopping except for Mrs. Dykes. So that way we're not making noise during class. Please raise your hand and ask before you do this though. Now, I got to say, it really, really hurts when you guys tap me, boom, 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 against the buckets or the table. And actually what happens is that my insides, my lead, breaks. So if you ever find me or a friend of mine and we can't stay sharp and our lead keeps breaking, um, it might be because we've been tapped or dropped too many times. So please be careful with me. I am fragile and I want you to do your best work you can. Now, if you're drawing lightly the way I like, you'll be able to use my eraser. Now, if I don't have an eraser, you can use my friend Eddie, the eraser. Eddie. Oh, Eddie, are you okay? Hey guys, it's me, Eddie the eraser. Um, it's been kind of rough, guys. Like, I have all these holes in me, people keep drawing on me, and um, my job is to erase things, so <clears throat> I'm trying to do my best still. I can still erase with some of these uh, marks, but um, if you guys, even though I look like this, cannot, um, you know, draw on me or stab me anymore, it's been kind of rough. I, I really like my job. I love helping you guys fix mistakes, but like, uh, can you do me a favor and try to try to be a little kinder so that way um, I can do my job really, really well. Uh, yeah, thank you guys. Oh, Eddie, I had no idea. Um, well, friends, make sure that me and Eddie are in the bucket together so that we, we can talk. Um, but I don't want to hurt Eddie. He's my friend, and I really appreciate everything he does. I think he's awesome. Hey, thanks, Patty. I think you're awesome, too. We make a pretty good team. Yes, of course. All right. Let's meet some more friends. Yeah, let's meet some more friends. Hi, guys. I'm a yellow-orange crayon. Um, I represent all the different colored crayons. I want to talk to you a little bit about me and my friends. Uh, first of all, crayons are waxy. We like to do wax resist. Um, you can color softly with us or hard. Um, but the great thing about us is that once you peel our paper back, there's more of us. So um, if we break, then there's two of us. Well, I mean, you don't want to, you know break us on purpose, but if I break in half, then that's okay. You can still use broken crayons to color. That's the most wonderful thing about crayons. Um, you know, <clears throat> I like to live sometimes in the in the box with uh, the pencils and the racers. We don't share the same room though, so make sure that we're separate. Um, and if you do peel my paper to get some more of that waxy goodness, um, make sure that you don't throw it away in the box. Like we should throw it away in the trash can. Um, so that way, you know, we keep things clean. Whoa, hey. Hi guys. Oh, look, it's um, our pencil box friend, Perry. So, um, Perry, can you talk to me a little bit about you? Hey guys, it's me, Perry. Um, Perry the pencil box. Uh, so, so I like to hold pencils and stuff, and um, I like to hold like yellow, orange crayon. Hi. Um, just make sure that any trash is not in me because, you know, I'm for supplies, not trash. You know, there are those many trash can folk that like to visit us sometimes, um, but for, yeah, like like Yellow Orange said, please uh, don't put any of the paper inside me to stay there because it's kind of hard to clean me out. Yeah, that's some great advice. All right, let's see who else we have to meet. Hi, my name is Marty. I'm a marker. A um, few things about me. Uh, I'm a marker, yes. Uh, I like to sleep upside down when you're not using me so that my ink goes to the tip. Um, I also, need to make sure that my cap is on. So, um, hey, Miss Dykes, can you show what it looks like with my cap off? Yeah, sure. Oh, sorry, Marty, I'll be careful. Oh, it's okay. So, uh, this is what my, what I look like with my cap off. When you are done with me, you need to 
snap my cap back on. And uh, me and the shoppies and all the other people like that, um, we need to sleep upside down so that way all the ink goes to our heads so we're used better next time. Um, so like I said, I'm Martin the Marker. I like my cap snapped and I like to sleep upside down. Yay! Hi there, I am Stacy the glue stick. A um, few things about me, I like to stick things. Um, please make sure that when you're using me, oh, thank you, uh, that you're not twisting up the bottom too much. Ooh, not that little too much, just a little bit. Um, and that you put my cap back on so that I work later. Um, this is Bob. Hey, here's a glue bottle. Hey guys, I'm Bob the glue bottle. Um, the glue bottle oath is just a dot, not a lot. And um, a few things about me, I go a little slower than a uh, glue stick here. Hey. Um, and um, I work upside down and uh, it, the glue might take a little bit to get there, but make sure that uh, when you use me, that uh, you know, you're know you careful, not squeezing too hard. Uh, so we follow the oath, just a dot, not a lot. Um, to, to figure out if I'm clear, you can, while I'm still upright, you can, Squeeze a little, and if you hear that air, that means it's clear. Um, but when you put me upside down, please uh, wait, wait, wait. It takes a little longer for my glue to come out. Um, I'm kind of sad right now because someone left me open. See a little gap? Oh no. Um, yeah. So if uh, Miss Dykes, could you uh, close my gap? Let's see here. Got you. All right, there we go. I'm closed now. Uh, that means I won't dry out. So make sure you take care of us so that we can keep helping you guys make some awesome art. Yeah, that'd be great. Hey guys, it's uh, it's me, um, Patrick, the paintbrush. I'm not having a good hair day because somebody squished my hair all the way down to the metal part, all the way down to the top of my head, and that uh, that really hurts. So uh, please make sure that you're only using the top part of my hair, otherwise uh, um, it stays like this forever. <laughs> uh, I mean, maybe Mil maybe Miss Dykes will be able to fix me. Um, and this is my friend um, Carter, the water cup. Uh, he likes to only be filled halfway. So. And um, yeah, just make sure you tilt him over either. He, uh, you know, he's trying to keep me clean, stuff like that. Give me, you know, give my hair the, the bath that it needs. Um, but uh, yeah, just take care of him too. Uh, he doesn't like to be dropped or anything. He might crack. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's been nice painting with you guys. You guys have been making some awesome stuff. Uh, just, uh, just a quick reminder, uh, I need to look fly. So keep, keep, keep my hair good. Thank you. Hi, it's me, Rodney the Ruler. Um, it's been really nice making some straight edges with you guys. And uh, just make sure you don't tap me on the table. That makes dents in me and then I'm not perfectly straight anymore. Also, try not to bend me or my other friends that are clear because uh, that's scary. That's real scary, okay? Uh, but it's been really nice making some straight edges with you and I'm looking forward to making some more straight edges with you. Maybe doing some math? Maybe, we'll see. Um, hey, it's me, Stan. The scissors. Oh, hey, Stan. Um, yeah, so with me, um, I like to stay at the table if I'm being used uh, just, you know, for safety, you know, because I'm one of the more dangerous, you know, things in the art room. And uh, uh, if you have to walk with me, uh, make sure that you hold the sharp part right there at the bottom um, in your hands to keep you and your friends safe. Oh, that's a great idea. Awesome. Well, we'll see you guys later. Bye. Well, I think that's all the friends that we need to talk to for now. Um, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot about two really big important friends. One second. Hey guys, it's me. I'm a chair. And I'm a table. And you might not think of us as art supplies, but we still need to be taken care of. Um, as a chair, I like to be pushed in at the end of class. Also, I like all four feet of mine on the floor. I'm not very good at balancing, and I don't want to hurt you or other people or Mr. Table. So make sure that when I'm sitting, I have all four feet on the floor um, and that I'm scooted all the way over so that way I'm away from my chair friend next to me. Um, yeah, and at the end of class, please push me in so that way um, all four of my feet don't trip anybody up. Yeah, and um, as a table, it seems kind of weird to think of me as art supplies, but I really need to make sure that I'm clean or if there's something on me like tape or marker that should be there to divide us, that, um, that you like take care of that stuff too because, you know, I went. I want a safe place for you, but also all my supply friends. So let's make sure that we're not drawing on me on purpose or peeling anything off me that's not supposed to be peeled off. Um, and we can work together and have a, a good art class. Yeah, that'd be great. All right, guys, we'll see you in art class. All right, guys, I think that's all the friends we're gonna meet for today. Thank you for listening to their stories, how to respect them and how to use them and their preferences. 
like I said, they were kind of shy, so they only wanted to talk on camera with me, which is totally fine, but they have a lot of feelings too, and we gotta make sure that we're being nice to them.